Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com and this is my latest tutorial. It's a tutorial on how to make the Assassin's Creed leather spaulders, the shoulder pieces. There's the left shoulder and the right shoulder. And I do this out of some basic materials. I just use some vinyl, some uh, cereal boxes, some, some rope, you know, some glue and a glue gun. And, uh, well, you see, it just folds over onto the right shoulder. Can you see that? Right. This one folds like this onto the left shoulder. Uh, it's a, uh, excuse me, it's an unusual setup, the way this is um, assembled onto the chest piece. So for now, I just put some flaps on this that we can assemble into the chest piece. And, um, you know, I intend on doing that tutorial too pretty, pretty quickly, so we can put it all together. So let me launch into the tutorial showing you the materials you need and how to make this. Okay, so here are the materials I used to make this uh, Assassin's Creed Spalders. I used uh, two cereal boxes, and you could use poster board instead, but cereal boxes are a little bit thicker. I like this cardboard. It's a little thicker, a little sturdier. Uh, some glue. White glue is fine. I use a glue gun. You don't need a glue gun, but a glue gun is great for this. Uh, some wire. Almost any kind of wire will do. That's just for some of the spots to really secure it down nice and tight and keep it so it doesn't come loose when you're you know, wearing it. Um, some rope right here like this. I got this rope and if you can get some black rope that'd be great because the actual um, spalders have black rope but you can always paint this rope. And uh, most importantly, well a brush to do some painting, some silver paint. I use some silver and some gold paint. I use silver paint to paint this spalder Right? And I use gold paint to paint this. Um, so most importantly is the vinyl. And I used, you know, to, to make this. And I bought this vinyl at a fabric store called Joanne Fabrics. So you might be able to get this vinyl at different places. Walmart might even have it in the in this section where they do arts and crafts. Um, but you can also, if you can get a brown tablecloth, like the dollar stores have tablecloths that are very similar material for like a dollar. It would be perfect for this. And the uh, important thing about it is that you can't see it here, but what I did was for this to use, I didn't use the whole thing. Like the back of this vinyl has got this fabric on it. And you could leave that, but I actually peeled it away and just used the vinyl topping. So that's everything you need to make these spalders. And uh, well, and so let's launch into the tutorial. Uh, okay, so what you do is you download the template from our website, and it has four different cardboard pieces on it. Transfer those pieces to a cereal box cardboard like this, and then cut them all out. Uh, the two pieces are for the, the left shoulder, and one piece is for the right shoulder, and the fourth piece is for the buckle that holds the strap on. Now let's make the right shoulder, the left shoulder piece. It's comprised comprised of two pieces like this. So we're going to glue glue the small one down to the larger one. So apply a liberal amount of glue. I'm using white glue here. You could use a glue gun if you wanted, but you want it to be nice and strong bond. And there we go, it forms that nice um, shape of the spalder. When we press the vinyl down to it, that pattern will show through. So now I'm using the rope that we, that, that we have to go all the way around both shoulder pieces like this. Um, you can glue it down, but it takes a while for it to dry. So I prefer a hot glue gun, it's really nice, you can just do it all the way around both pieces like this. It'll give us that, that nice underlying shape under the leather. Now you could use wire if you had wire. There we go, and now I'm doing the other one. And you can see here there's some duct tape on that. I, I, I duct taped over the, the part where the cardboard cereal box is folded so it doesn't really show up when we curve the shoulder piece. And there you go, the two of them are done. They look good. Now we're going to add, actually add another piece, another few little strips to that larger uh, shoulder piece. 
Uh, I'll show you a picture of that. But for now, we can use your tablecloth, your, your plastic or your vinyl, and you could cut it and apply it with the, the fuzzy backing, but it's much better without it. So if you have some vinyl like this, peel it off, and then we'll apply that down because it, the patterns underneath show really nicely. And here's what I was talking about. You can see, uh, you know, I'm going to glue the same process. Apply a nice, even layer of glue to the whole thing, including over the rope. And then we're going to glue that vinyl down. But here's that picture I wanted to show you. See these four extra cardboard strips I put in here? That gives you a nice look on that um, shoulder. So put those in there too. And then we go ahead and press the vinyl down and glue it down nicely. You know, make it nice and even and press it down really good because you want those those cardboard patterns underneath to show. It'll give it a really good look. You can't use a hot glue gun on this, it doesn't work. You have to just apply a nice liberal even coat of white glue. See now once you get I'm 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 getting the work done here. Um cut around the edge. Cut it into strips like that and then, uh, you know, fold it over and glue them down. And you can use hot glue gun for this because it won't show. It's just to hold it tight. So now, just as rivets on the leather, I used um, small dabs of hot glue. It's kind of nice. I mean, if you don't have a hot glue gun, you know, you can improvise something. You can even put white glue. You just got to take the time to let it dry. Just like a drop, a nice, a nice big drop. And then we can paint those later. It'll really look good. It looks like it's riveted. The leather is riveted. So now let's work on that, on that rope piece that, that ties that spalder down. Oh, so I used my rope and I knotted it in a configuration like this so it has three three strands like you see like the real leather the armor has and then punch holes in the the shoulder piece and use some wire to secure this down nice and tight I mean you don't want that to I mean you can glue it too but you have to put wire so it doesn't come loose when you're wearing it and there we go now take that piece now the one I give you in the template isn't painted so you should you know ornament ornament it paint it gold or something like that and then, you know, glue that down. You can even wire that down, too, if you want. But it looks really good. So, you know, we're almost done here. Let's go back to the right shoulder and, and paint some flourishes on it like, um, like he has. I just use some silver paint. You know, just have fun with this. And there we go now you know once everything is dry you're going to be able to curve those nicely curve those shoulder pieces nicely to fit on your shoulders like that see that and they will attach to the to the um, chest piece so and that will help keep the curve in shape but it looks really good come out good that's the left shoulder So now one more thing we're going to do is we're going to make the little attaching buckles so we can attach it to the chest piece. So one goes here at the very top of the left shoulder and two go here on the right shoulders. So And those are um, cereal box cardboard with the vinyl glued down to them. You know, so punch holes in everything and then wire it up. And you have to wire these up so they don't break loose with use. You know, so I, I wired them and I also hot glued them. And that's it. The shoulder pieces are done. They look great. I will be doing another video on more of uh, the Assassin's Creed armor, so stay in tune for that. Lots more stuff on my website at stormthecastle.com, and here on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.